welcome to Lochner versus New York. On this side, we have Mr. Lochner. On the other side, we have Mr. Baker in the state of New York. Mr. Lochner, please elaborate on why you believe the the hours and wages you have been you have given Mr. Baker are not in violation of the Bake Shop Act of 1895. Well, it's very simple, you see, Your Honor. He is the one that signed this contract saying that he would work the set amount of hours that I told him to work, and he would receive the amount of pay that I would pay him. This coming back against me in court is completely unfounded and unreasonable, based upon the contract that was signed by um, Mr. Baker. Uh, the previous existing law states that I should work no more than 10 hours. Um, however, I did enter a contract with you. Um, do you have no human compassion for me working those hours and me not still not being able to support a family? Perhaps maybe you should have known about these laws beforehand. Then you wouldn't have had to sign such a contract with harsh terms that you would not be able to follow through upon. And then maybe you couldn't even support your family to the little bit amount that I'm able to pay you right now. I have been overworked and exploited under the current systems of capitalism, and I am seeking seeking justice for the greed of the upper class. I think workers should be ensured fair and safe working conditions and receive an adequate salary. The wealthy should no longer have legal advantages against the lower classes. It is the right of the upper class to employ and pay whatever I want to people of the lower classes. If they are unsatisfied with the amount of wages they are earning, they should perhaps find another job. It is not my duty to spoil the lower class. I believe in a system of survival of the fittest, and you, Mr. Baker, are not fit. The Supreme Court of the United States of America finds...